Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted a question on Facebook how you would get inside cut lines. Uh, this is not a laser engraver. I think she's actually doing it in vinyl cutting, but it would actually help you in laser engraving too. Uh, I've got cut lines on the inside of these bees. So this is a normal bee, it's just aerial. We're going to go up to object and we're going to convert it to a curve. And just for grins, we're going to left click, right click, so we just have an outline. We're going to select it all, and we're going to go up to object, and we're going to break curve apart. Our letter is about five and a half inches big, so we're going to put our nudge factor on six. We're going to grab the outside of the B and move it over. We're going to grab one of these and go up to effects, go down to contour, and contour one time a quarter of an inch to the inside. Once you have that set, all you have to do is hit apply and do the second one. Then on the outside, just change this to outside. And they'll take yours and move it back over. And now you have um, cut lines on the inside now. Just one word of warning, you've actually basically got two cut lines. So to do this 100% correctly, you'd want to take your Smart Fill tool, fill it in, nudge that over, take your original red line and delete it. I deleted both. Need to break the contour apart. You don't want to move it because then you'll be off with the nudge factor. Go up and well, evidently that's already broken. Let's see if we can delete it. Nope. I'm not selecting the whole thing. Go up to object, break contour apart. We'll go and do the second one. Object, break contour apart. Now take out the red line. And now you have cut lines and non-cut lines because this has no line on the color smart field. And just put it back. So now you have an engraved part and cut lines on both the inside and the outside of the letter. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.